artists, we are going to continue our investigation of the elements of art. Line, shape, color, texture, value, space, and form. The elements of art are what we use to create artwork, but it's also the terms you would use to describe your artwork or someone else's. So we're going to make um, a project that includes owls. And what I want is similar, but different. How can you start with the same and make them different? So you can make them different by adding different designs, different patterns to each one. These are not realistic looking owls. Or maybe when you color, you're gonna make them very different in the way you color, because the colors I chose are not owls that you would find in nature, unless there's like a nuclear accident. Actually, even then, I don't think so. So we're gonna start with a very basic shape. And we wanna remember when we're putting our art, the owls in the artwork, space, foreground, mid-ground, background, small, medium, large. And if there's overlap, if something's in front of the other, you can't quite see everything that it's blocking. The basic shape I want you to start with is a giant U. Add two triangles for the ears. You could even have the eyes closed. I hadn't thought of that one. You could just do two U's for the eyes closed. But I put in two giant ovals for the eyes, making a triangle for the beak. And then I just like, for my claws, you might do it different. I do three circles on each side for the claws. And then you can make your wings however you like. Maybe your wings are going out. Maybe your wings are going in. Maybe each one has their wings in a different way to make them different, but similar. So the only other thing I want to share with you is how we color it. I kind of mix the colors. So I, I like... Instead of just having a flat color, like all black, I mix blue and black. Um, usually, as you know, I like to use purple a lot. I chose blue because <laughs> it started taking a long time to color it in and I was being lazy, but sometimes it pays off. I think it looks cool how you have the black and the blue mixed in together. And I made sure to, when I colored it in, I was going in a round direction so that it kind of radiates from that moon in the middle. All right, artists, let's see what you can do. See how large my green is in the foreground? And then my green gets a little darker the further back it goes. High five.